Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm with Ken Napsok. And usually when Dennis and Ken are on camera together, we're talking about one thing. What is that? Taxes. Yes, yes. Game of taxes, right? Oh, like the master of coins. Yes, yes. yes Where we, we compare what we write off on our... Uh, the, the Iron Bank, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Iron no, Bank. no. We're actually here to talk about Game of Thrones Season 7 trailer number two. Number two. This dropped in the middle of other work, Dennis. Yes. I haven't had a chance to watch this. No, no. Neither have I. I'm super excited. We're three weeks away, less than three weeks yeah. away. Billboards are going up around town. You know, only seven episodes. You and me and a few other people are going to be doing a, a Game of Thrones show. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can officially confirm that. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, we'll be talking some Game of Thrones, as you guys did last year. I'll be joining the team. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be hosting that and bringing sure. your in-depth knowledge. Yeah. Of, of both the books and the TV show. And the maps. Yeah, yeah, and the maps. We'll bring in the maps. Yes. And, and talk about all, all, all the financial stuff yes. as well. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Winter is coming. Where? Okay, here we go. Oh, they're playing that song, The Light of the Seven. Light of Seven. Or the South. Fight every battle, Sounds everywhere. Ooh, a little Baelish. Always in your mind. I love that they're using this music. Yeah, that music's, I think, the best of the show, other than the intro. John North. Painted table, Danny there. So much the Batman of Westeros, I call her. Oh, Baelish. For centuries our families fought she's, together. She's finally home in Dragonstone. Against their common enemy. Despite their differences together. We need to do the same if we're gonna survive. Because the enemy like is real. Does. John John's pleading to someone. Mr. Arch. Oh. It's always been real. Barrack! Oh. Don Darian in action. I love it. Unsullied. snows fall and the white winds blow the lone wolf dies but the pack survives there's John there's John taking out fools the lone wolf dies but the pack survives there is a lot in this, Dennis, if I might jump in yeah, here. Yeah. Of you got Jon Snow, you got the enemy is real, you got Baelish talking, you got Jon Snow talking to someone about we must come together. Mm -hmm. That ties into what Sir Davos Seaworth was saying in the last trailer of it doesn't matter who will be on the Iron Throne, the real enemy is here. It's not just winter, it's what's coming down from the north. This is exciting. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's action packed. We saw the first trailer, which is you, was similar to this. I mean, this yeah. season is really going to be action packed, at least. From what the trailer is showing us, we, we, we don't know. Maybe there's going to be a lot more dialogue. But, uh, man, there's that one, the one shot that stuck out to me the most was actually uh, Jamie Lannister on the battlefield. With the, with the guy, like he's got a little spear action yeah, yeah, on a yeah. horse, a little just fire like, around him. Yeah. Just because his character has changed so much. Yeah. Since, you know, remember the, fir the first episode, the first thing we see him do is push a little boy out the window. Yeah. And everyone's like, I hate him, I hate him. But yeah. his character has changed so much. Yeah. Is he becoming a more heroic character? He already has in the past. Is he going to be, like I've speculated before, is he going to be the one that kills Cersei Lannister? I still think that's possible. The prophecy of the Valonqar, obviously. Yes, yeah, season one, he's the bad guy. But season three, he's got that bathtub scene with Brienne, and oh, he explains yeah. why he killed the king. And you're like, eh, he's got you, some points. But he's still, last season, he's still at Cersei's side. He's got to be conflicted. That looks like some fire. Maybe they're, are they already battling dragons? Mm -hmm. We got the archers of Lannisters. The Lannister archers shooting up. Um, the dragons are, are, are clearly going to get some action this year. And you're right, Dennis, this is going to be a faster-paced season, not just because of the seven episodes, but they say we just, we, it's, just, it's going to be something we're not used to as Game mm -hmm. of Thrones fans. There's so many fights going on there. I, I know it's looking way too forward, but I'm already sad that I'm hearing the rumors of how 
the next season, the final season, might not come out till 2019. Like, not yeah. only do we wait longer for this season to come, then we're yeah. going gonna to skip a whole year. That's okay. You and I could sit around with your Funko Pops and just reenact seasons we want. Thing. Or, or rewatch the seasons, which right. both of us have done many, yeah. many times. I love the moments I mentioned where we're watching it, and we talked about it last time too, but, but Danny returning home to Dragonstone. That mm-hmm. means something. That has historical... Uh, you know, purpose and, 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 and weight in Game of Thrones. A Targaryen has returned to Dragonstone. That's some great stuff. You see the dragons flying up to Dragonstone. Uh, that is, she's going to hit the ground running. I, I can't, I, I don't know what's going to happen. If it's her and John teaming up, is mm-hmm. John speaking to her? Is Davos speaking to her? Is John talking to someone else? It's not, it can't be a small, John can't be pleading mm-hmm. to someone of a minor house. Mm-hmm. This isn't the Boltons no, no, no. Or, or the Freys. This is, has to be something big. Also, we, we, we saw the Night King. Yeah. We, we assume that they're going to play a big part in this because all the, the billboards that we've been seeing is the Night King on, yeah. on, on those. I had thought that they were going to wait for that for the next season, but it looks like they're going to get into that this season. It could, but, you know, and that's the great thing about these trailers we don't know, and that's also a great thing as, as, as a smug book reader as I can be sometimes. <laughs> John, I don't know. We're past this. We're past the book so far. I don't know what I'm getting. And and what what could happen at the end? This stuff could build up. we only got seven episodes. I think the wall comes down some point this okay. season, and that sets up next year being maybe, maybe we got six, seven episodes of The Long Night, the second Long Night. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what's happening next year. Yeah. But we definitely got some action with the White yeah. Walkers. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this yeah. one. Uh, a few more weeks. It's almost here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> almost right. here. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this trailer. You can post your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Videos. Uh, where can people find you? You can find me at Ken Knapsack, where I'm always talking Game of Thrones, even to myself. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Think Here or Instagram, Dennis.TZNG, and we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.